Yo, how's it going, everybody? I'm back with the NBA 2K21 Next Gen VC glitch. If you don't have Next Gen, don't click off the video, though, because I'm pretty sure it does still work for current gen. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys that do VC glitches already know about this glitch. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the blacktop VC glitch on NBA 2K21 Next Gen. Now, this VC glitch has been patched to an extent, but you'll still make more VC doing this than playing any other game modes, such as my career or anything like that. So, this is the most efficient way to make vc on nba 2k21 with no chance of getting banned i'm going to show you how to do this vc glitch step by step so make sure to watch the whole video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i would also really appreciate that i am grinding for 10,000 subscribers and i can't thank you guys enough for all your recent support but with that being said let's get into this so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on features next you're going to want to hit create roster and then when it says select roster type click nba and then hit official 2k sports roster now once you load in it's going to put you on the list with all the teams and players you're going to hit r1 and scroll all the way to the end and you're going to go to all time teams it does take a while to scroll all the way through but you'll get there eventually and i've made it once you are on the all time teams you're going to want to go to the warriors so now i am on the warriors and you're going to click on steph curry and hit edit player and then you're going to go to body and make him seven foot seven do not touch the weight that doesn't matter but make sure that you make him seven foot seven once you're done with that, you can exit out and then you're going to go to attributes. You're going to make every single attribute a 99 on the offense part. So it doesn't matter what it is, just make it a 99. I'm going to do it for everything. So once you are done making everything a 99, you're going to hit R2 all the way until you get to athleticism. And the first four things, you're going to make a 99. Lateral quickness, speed, speed with ball, and acceleration. I'm also going to do vertical just because you don't have to, but I'm going to do it. Next, you got to scroll all the way down to badges and click on it. And then you got to hit R2 all the way until you get to outside scoring. I was already on it. And then you got to make everything Hall of Fame for shooting. One more thing I forgot to tell you guys about this glitch is you can go to the features and settings and make the game speed 100. That's going to make you make way more VC much quicker. So now I've made every single shooting badge Hall of Fame. So I'm going to back out of this and you are officially done with Curry. So you can just back out and hit keep changes and return. So now you're going to see that Steph Curry is 7'7 seven seven and he is a 99 overall. That means you can back out and hit save and share roster. Doesn't matter what you name it. You can just name it whatever you want. I'm going to make it random letters. I don't really care. Same for the description. That does not matter at all. And then it's going to say the Lakers do not have enough active players. Just hit yes to both things and you are done. Just wait for it to upload. Again, guys, sorry if I was talking too fast. You could rewind it. I'm going to try to talk a little bit slower but just wait till your thing uploads all the way. So once you are done with this, you can just back out to the main menu. You're gonna click on play now and you're gonna go all the way over to blacktop. You're gonna click on 1v1 and then you're gonna hold the left stick down. Then you're gonna hit user created roster and you're gonna scroll over to my files. You hit R1 to do that and I'm gonna go to the one that I just created. So once you've done that, just go over to the ringers and hit advanced. Doesn't matter what team you choose actually and make the game conditions to five. Next, you're going to hit triangle or Y, depending on what council you have, and go all the way to the all-time teams. Click L2 this time to get to the Warriors. It is the fastest way, and you're going to be Steph Curry, and you're going to be facing Andre Iguodala, so choose him to face. Once your screen is looking like this, you can just hit start game. So here's where the patch comes in. Steph Curry does not make every single shot anymore, so you're going to have to actually have good releases. He's going to make most of the shots, and you're going to win every game. It's just going to be a teeny bit slower, but that's why you need to turn your game speed up. And I've seen that some people don't get VC every single time. This has happened to me, but I would say that I average about 100 VC per game. So you're not going to get an extreme amount of VC like you did before they patched it, but it's still the best way to get VC without any chance of getting banned. So all you have to do is win the game and try to do it as quickly as you can. It's 4-4, four to four, so all I have to do is hit a 3. I'm going to take this 3. No, I made that. It was a bad release, and it still went in. So a lot of shots do go in, and as you can see, my earnings were just made. Once you get to this where it says quit or rematch, you want to keep hitting rematch until you're done doing it. I would recommend just playing a lot of games at a time, like spend an hour doing it. You will get a lot of VC doing this. Don't come hating just because you don't get VC from one game. I would say it averages out to 100. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, make sure to give it a like. I would really appreciate that. I'm grinding for 10,000 subscribers, and with that being said, I'm out.